four. No, verse five. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. A righteous branch, not a wicked branch, but a righteous branch. Go ahead. And a king shall reign and prosper, and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. There you go, man. So that's that's gonna happen when when Yahweh comes back. Because when Yahweh came on the scene, and he, he wasn't uh, uh, judging the, the whole earth. He was judging amongst his disciples. He was building up his disciples, rebuking his disciples, pretty much building up the tabernacle of David, but at a low level, just that foundation, that base. But now in these last days, the Lord is he's adding uh, decorations to the, the house of David. He's adding the, the furniture, you know, the table. Matter of fact, uh, Psalms 23, bro. Psalms 23 and and forward it says, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Yeah, because when you have a table, it's not just to eat, you know, and have family time. But um, if brothers ever watch, like, you know, like, like the Godfather, before the, uh, be, yeah, the water, that's the word. Before the council executes judgment, they have a table, right? They sit on that table. You know, you have the main head, you know, asking questions with the councils. You know, that table is for councils against the enemies. How to make work? Go ahead, bro. The book of Psalms, chapter 23, verse 5. Thou preparest, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And that's inside the house of, uh, of King David. The house of David has a table inside the building, the spiritual building, okay, that's uh, executing uh, the councils. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup run it over. Yeah, because when you have councils, bro, like it tells you in the book of uh, Proverbs, uh, iron sharpeneth iron. And, uh, oh, and, yeah. and the man's uh, counsel, roughly paraphrasing, because when you have counsels amongst brothers and you get a little bit of uh, knowledge, which is the oil, you get a little bit of oil here, you start increasing in the spirit and you're, you're able to execute judgment, okay, righteously, okay, when you have counsels amongst brothers, not amongst yourselves, but amongst the Akim, man. And that's how you're able to uh, make war, like it tells you in the book of Proverbs, okay, uh, before you go to war with your enemy, you gotta sit down with brothers, make counsel, and then you make your war. Okay? And I was in Psalms 23 and uh, 4. Okay, thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11 and 14. Where no counsel is, the people fall. Shh. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. Yeah, when there's no. Where's no, uh, uh, read that one more time, bro. It's, the it's book beautiful. of Proverbs, chapter 11 and 14, yep. where no counsel is, the people fall. Yeah, when there is no counsel, for example, right now Esau, he's not able to have counsel against his own people. That's why his kingdom's collapsing. Yeah, um, in republics. Got the water, but also it tells you in uh, in the prophecy of Jeremiah, is there no more wisdom in Teman? The Lord is taking out the light of the wicked, like it tells you in the book of Job. He's taking away that wisdom, that counsel. Okay, and when you have no councilman, hey, you start, you start, uh, uh, your dynasty starts collapsing. Go ahead, Ark. The book of Proverbs 11 and 14, where no council is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, which are the prophets, okay, and the elders, the multitude of counselors, there is safety. There is safety, man. And, and what is our safety? Hey, Yahweh Shemal Shai, man. Okay, want to get Psalms uh, 91? You just, you just to back that up. Okay, the. Uh, the council which leads to safety hey that that's your house shy that that's our real safety when we make these uh various uh councils and hey, just like in high school bro you might uh have trouble with your your grades and you end up going with a counselor your counselor tells you okay you know you gotta stop taking this class you gotta start waking up more early